is the black and the bad is the cop. Was, <gasps> not like this. With um, Chia leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwocky Park where the unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, I never expected that the person to be waiting there. Is it, is it Boss Baby? Boss Baby? Boss Baby. Boss Baby? Oh, get out of here, hello, Nacho. Yeah. Nobody cares. Get Nacho, I swear to God. Why, why, hello there, Jimmy and um, Chia. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nacho? <laughs> Feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Wow. <laughs> Why? Why are you here? Oh. Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, um, Sapshot got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was a heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have g gladly done it. I care about Nacho. Nacho's kind of, I don't know. Nacho, I don't trust Nacho. It's not like I don't care about Nacho. I just don't trust him. Like, he's, he's, he, he lost my trust pebbles and he will never get it again. I trusted them. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark this despair, I'll help can shine brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Snapshot. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's actually so crazy. He's almost pissing me off. Who said I trust? That's true. You didn't say you trusted him. You just said you you care about him. Well, maybe I'll start to like him more. Since after the, the first trial, I'm kind of, and after him kind of pushing Muffin Man to kill somebody, I'm kind of a little. I don't like. There's a part of me that's like I strangle. So why are you here? Who told you about Snapshot? You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you. You know. Uh, oh, Sailor Moon? It's mom and me. Yes, it was me. You, why'd you untie Na Nacho without anyone's permission? Uh, did I do a bad? I just want everyone to get along and, you, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what uh, Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Jimmy, you should forgive her. Sailor Moon is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. And now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Snapshot, right? Nacho's the only one I trust. Um, the crazier they are, the more. Ah, really? I don't. I don't know. I mean, Funko was pretty crazy too, and look how she turned out. Though I do have to say, Genocide Jill was really crazy, and she never killed anybody. N never killed anybody. Oh wait, didn't Gen wait? Now that I think about it, um, I got the people. There were six people that left the first game, right? Now that I think about, it, there was Hero, Coco. Makoto, um, Hina, Byaku, and Jill. I forgot about, uh, or Toko. I forgot six people actually survived the first game, if I remember correctly. That's right. Um, that's right. That's why everyone must work together and have, and, and have Monokuma. Enough! Enough already. Just go away already. Oh, I understood. Mamba Makoto. Boy. <laughs> Nacho, you two, hurry up and get yeah. lost. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me- Wait, he even beat it? True ending. No. So although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Mm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I always want to be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. The game! Um, no, no, there's a difference between Jungle Crazy Despair Ass and Toko Crazy Ass and Nacho Crazy Ass! <laughs> I'm guessing, um, well, because Toko's was split personality. So technically, Jill wasn't crazy. Technically, Toko wasn't crazy. It was just there was two personalities sharing a body. And then Nagito's just, I, well, Nagito's gets high on hope, whereas Fungal gets high on despair. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey. Jimmy, just let's just move on and start the game. You're right. It's time to play, time to play the video game. Video game inside the video game. If I do play this, I might get a game over again. Before I start to ask Chia if there's a walkthrough for this game. Oh. Nikito is crazy. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and forth again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell uh -huh. me about it? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. I'm confused. Okay. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command. Mm -hmm. You should have seen it too. You know that thing that um, was displayed on the on the game over screen. Is that down five? Oh, you have to hit down five. 
Oh, that's what down five meant. So you have to hit five. You have to hit down um five times. Are you talking about the message that says down five? That makes it on big break. Psh. That so it didn't mean down five people or down five like lives. Like not down five lives, people or anything. It meant down five as a code. So I get a four day five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> if I mean Baron made the, I think it was Baron that said like the bell sounds like five nights at Freddy's. That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. No, oh, I'm, I was so ready. I had my cocktail ready and everything. Well, everyone knew this command except the TV. Listen, the, the protagonist is never smart. Look, look at Makoto. It means you have to press down five times. And the hidden command what? is, you just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick, just as expected of the ultimate what? gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. Either you're smart or you're not. It was like me. I killed. I killed Sasha because I because I love despair. <laughs> it was Murph who said bells. Are, oh, it was Murph. Okay, I was gonna say somebody said it was like Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not sure it was crazy, but I, I trust Nacho's crazy. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see as the game progresses if I start to trust Nacho. In fact, Nacho got in uh, on his uh, on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. <laughs> Thanks for rubbing it in, Chi. I really appreciate it. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. So am I gonna get the full game now? This game is a, a work of nonfiction. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely intentional. It was me. Thanks, Pimples. Oh. <laughs> like he, um, Nacho is a walking plot point. He won't die. I, I figured. I figured Nacho and I are going to make it to the end. I need to press down five times on the title screen. I, all right, let's do this. Open the, I op open the next door to Twilight Syndrome and Murder Case. Press down five times with your own hands. Oh, oh, just, just the tone changes? The screen changed, she was right. This is a real game, Twilight Center Murder Case is True Edition? Truth Edition, I just realized it says Truth Edition. I should start it up, I need to find out why this is a motive. I'll start it up if I press start, right? Now let's begin to talk, this game, I know what I'm doing. Mokuro was just, um, was just super lucky with everything, he doesn't need big brain. <laughs> well, he's the ultimate lucky student. Now, look, is it gonna be day one? We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who stuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there was stu were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were there. Um, um, they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand the mystery. Well, the answers you seek are um, you seek are hidden in this truth edition, will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. Okay, time to, time to give it a new rating. <laughs> now it's time to give a new rating to this game. Now, Makoto was just opposite. He was, he was hope. Well, I know, but I know he was like also the ultimate lucky suit. I know he was the ultimate, ultimate hope, but also I know, I think he was also, also really lucky. Oh God, not this again. Not like this. Let's press down five times again. No, let's not. <laughs> Imagine just breaks the game and just implodes and then she was like, well, you went and broke it. How could you? I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're going to go home late because you had to, to wait, to wait for so poor girl. Hey, come on, girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Did you just take a picture? Hey, don't go taking pictures without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not, I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd be friends with um, with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Wow, is this Yoko? Ah, the girl with, um, girl, the, the way girl B treats people, even lone sharks look, uh, looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Huh, is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Imagine naming your kid <laughs> girl Amy. Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you shouldn't be super. You should. You should be super careful, girl. A. A chubby. Wait. A chubby weakly like you makes a perfect prey. <laughs> hey, stop it, girl. Girl's A is getting really scared. Yeah, it's funny to bully girl A. Oh. 
Oh, it's my stress level. The bar up above. Well, I guess it is my heartbeat, but it's when I get stressed out. What what was that sound? It sounds like it sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Oh, boom, boom. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give him such like hard footsteps. Huck, huck, <laughs> Girl, hey, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. <laughs> oh, she just shake it like bigger. Thing. You're right. It's locked. If so, well, if somebody's in there, they know we're trying to get in now. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Are we waiting for girl, girl whatever to get back? Girl, I found the key. Nobody was there. It was super easy to get- Wait, is the girl taking the photos, um, snapshot? Because again, there's, they said that there's a girl that's been taking photos. They're like, don't take photos like that without permission. Is that snapshot? So was, did snapshot witness the murder? I feel like snapshot might have- I feel like snapshot might have witnessed this murder. So then let's open it right away. <laughs> okay. Girl, hey, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh, all right, let me just go. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, just gonna investigate a body. Oh, she dead. Oh, she big dead. So, someone's laying on the floor. That does, they're not just laying there. She was a murderer. She did it. Because oh, I was like, a <laughs> this, this, she's not lying down. She's dead! Dead! Wait till the end credits of the game before guessing who everyone is in the game for now. Worry about investigating this in-game stuff. Well, I know, a ghost. I'm just trying to make, I'm trying to make my, you know, a ghost. I'm just trying to make my um, assumptions. You know, I'm just trying to take all the evidence. I get it, but you know, I'm just trying to make my guesses off of the information. Now, remember the beginning about the work of fiction thing. True, but again, um, Monokuma might have been using that as a lie. You know, he might have, because again, Monokuma is not the most truthful bear. Um, that's impossible. Why? Oh, your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's going to happen if the killer notices us? Monokuma never lies. Eh, he stretches the truth. I mean, he lied about the murder in the last game. He, he does stretch the truth. He does every once in a while. Like, he doesn't lie, but he stretches the truth. What should we do? What should I do? See, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer escaped. Es the killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? What the window? The most obvious window. Oh, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find any anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they just have to break it? They they were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Looks look, there there's the evidence. The fish tank by the window, it's tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have actually tipped it over when they were fr were frantically trying to get away. Why is that Why is that a truth bullet? <laughs> He doesn't lie, he, ha he just over- well, yeah, pretty much. He just over-exaggerates, it's more clear. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway? But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer would have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside. Wait. Then the door could have been uh, been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by, which means the killer only escape route was this window. Um. So you say fifth. Is, wait. So you. So in fifth and sixth trial. Um. First game, Emotokoma didn't lie. I was to say, he kind of lied, Goats. You gotta admit, in the fifth and sixth trial in the first game, he did kind of lie. 
Hello there. <laughs> Has been added to the window. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who stuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girl East school swimsuit also murdered the girl over there? They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped? Stolen school swimsuit, so girl E swimsuit. It, isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around too. That's bad, uber bad. We better hurry up and run. It just, it just leaves our friends. Um, because the fifth day is where Monokuma tried to um, pin, um, pin the crime on Coco. Um, but don't uh, don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happened when you report when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Um, it's a sixty suit line hitting. There you go, Pebbles. <laughs> God damn it! I thought I would never have to hear that line again. Not like this, Pebbles. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door. Leave everything how it was. Wow, these girls suck. These girls should have- hey, uh, hey, please wait, don't leave me! These girls suck. Oh, this is the third day, so in between, um, when they talked about somebody took photos to when the other girl died. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet you here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess you love me. <laughs> you love- you're love to me. Oh, these girls suck. I mean, they should have gone to the police. It's easy as that. Huh, what happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next the next door um, classroom as I was going home. Wait, on the, on the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom. So the, the classroom next to it when I was going home. I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken um, boss pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What? What is this? I don't know anything about- Oh! The girl who was outside the room. So somebody killed the girl inside the classroom. And then the girl who was standing outside being like, Somebody broke the window and tried to escape. Actually smashed the vase in the room next door to make it sound like somebody broke through the window. But they actually didn't and it was actually her and she locked the room. So that would make sense. So the girl who was standing out there being like, I heard a crash and I was, I came to come, I went to go see what it was, was I think she actually killed the girl. And when this girl brought up the photos and was like, hey, I saw this broken vase. I think somebody actually broke the vase instead of going through the window, confronted her. She was like, I have to take her out before she mentions it because it's evidence. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's, it's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Are, are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what it, this is about. Is there something you're hiding from me? I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You you didn't say anything either. I knew you I knew you know. I knew you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Oh. Oh shit. So the girl was bullying girl D. The girl that got killed was bullying girl D. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography class club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Curly, don't tell me you. That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family influence, and I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to stalk, talk to her. I thought she said stalk her. I was like, you just trying to stalk her? I'm like, that's a, that's a drastic jump. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time. So I felt a sudden rage and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up. So that's why I had to do something about it. Oh, she did do it. That, that's, it's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. And then she just got, she just leaves. Ah, uh, girl, E. What are you doing? What are you doing, girlie? She left a picture in the trash? That bitch girlie, girlie, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? Oh, he found the evidence. What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be the sound of the breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't... 
If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? This is the worst spot to throw anything. If that's the trash bin, she needs to at least put it in like a trash, put it in the actual incinerator. <laughs> Not just out in the open where anybody can find it willy nilly. That bitch, what the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh, that was his little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions and if that bitch really did that, wait, is guy F and girl E in these 15 students or 16 students? Because guy F could be, who said that they had a sister? Who said they had a little sister? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Wasn't it? Oh, it wasn't Boss Baby. Boss Baby did say. Boss Baby said he had a little sister, right? That could lead the Yakuza? Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember who said they had a sister. I think um, Boss Baby said he did. And that's the only one I can remember that said he had a sister. I will never, I will never forgive her. Oh, he, oh, he angry. Yes, Boss Baby said that. I was gonna say, I remember Boss Baby saying that. I don't remember anybody else saying that they had a sister. Oh, no, you're fine, Pebbles. <laughs> I was say, I remember, I remember Boss Baby saying that. You're fine. I know you're trying to prevent, um, I know you're trying to prevent, uh, what do you call it, spoilers, Pebbles, but I remember Boss Baby telling me that he had a sister. That Because he said, my sister could, um, if he does, if something happens to him, his sister could lead the Yakuza, or the, I forget the actual name of his clan, but could actually run the gang if he fails. I was so nervous that even this part of my waist, you're fine, Pebbles. Looks like this, this is the end. That's right. But, yeah, that's the truth edition. The incidents first day and third day are depicted yep. in. Yeah, now you've, uh, you've filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. I just want to tell someone today's, is it Ch Chia's birthday? Like, actual birthday? Like, the voice actor's birthday or the character's birthday? Hey, Chia, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um, you mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense. They have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. <laughs> While you were talking, looks like the ending, um, ending sta staff, um, staff role started. Staff role? Happy birthday, Chia! <laughs> oh, I love Chia. Chia's one of my favorites. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. What I want to know in the staff role... Producer Monokuma, okay. Director Monokuma. <laughs> so, provide the Monokuma. Oh, so I'm so surprised. Is it plans? Oh, Monokuma? Oh, wow. He's so he's so talented. Graphics Monokuma. <laughs> Sound Monokuma. Cast Suzumuki Kozuzumi Hiyoko. Yoko. Yoda Sato Kazuri Kazuro. Wait, that's that's Boss Baby, right? No. Oh, fuck. Forget their last names. The last names always elude me. No, Fuhiku. Right, so, wait. Yeah, that's not that's not Boss Baby's last name. Wait, just yeah. now. See, I didn't tell you what you want to know is gonna. See, I didn't tell you what you want to know is gonna be on there. Miracle! Congrats, Miracle! Congratulations, you have finally beaten Twilight's in a murder case. <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right. That game is a not is a nonfiction game based on an actual past incident. Is is that By true? Way. By the way, nonfiction means an, an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. But even if it's um, nonfiction, you guys probably don't remember. Um, I am not sure. You like na Nacho, um, wait, you like Nacho and Snapchat? Um, oh, that sucks. That sucks, because Snapchat dies fairly early. I call her Snapchat. Um, of course, Gundam is your favorite. You got, you got his box of listen. They're in my secret drawer. We don't talk about it. Oh, that, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is a set setting for the story. Wait, so wait, this took place at Hope's Peak Academy? Wait, is that the, oh, the one room that had like all the blood in it? Is that where this took place? Our school Isn't life. Anyways, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize and I already gave it to the first person who beat it, which was, oh. Which was Boss Baby. Too bad. How disappointing. Did you say any prize? Mm -hmm. Like, I was um, told the same thing when I beat Aww. it, too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like that, this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. It was Boss Baby. Boss Baby has it first. No, no, no. Genocide Jill, best girl. I mean, that's true, but I think we're talking about, like, this game. Like, best character in this game. Uh, goats. The ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. Imagine how he used our school life as a setting for, of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to this, to that this time too. But is it, is it really true? We already learned living our, we were already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken? Is something that crazy actually, is, is something that crazy actually possible? 
Then, what did they do to us? Looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who speaks in this game. That this game is non-fiction. That, um, that's it... That's it, um, that's it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about it that, but, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving the mystery first. Whether you believe it, the motive or not, it's clearly that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appeared in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I get um, get some information from them, I might find out um, find out about something about the mystery behind um, Snapshot's death, about whether this game is true or not. Um, Sakura was my favorite in one. It probably went Sakura, um, Jack. Oh, I forget what my fr oh Chihiro. Chihiro says also ego. Actually, Sakura Ch Chihiro alter ego, and then um, genocide Jack slash Jill. And if we really had our school memories hey, taken hey. away. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. And also, if you want to get, um, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know whether to, whether um, know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. All right, let's go.